Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and welcome back after our little Christmas New Year break and I thought, well, it has been a while. I don't think I've done a Valentine's card for a, for at least definitely not last year and even possibly not the year before. It's not something I really get into that much but I thought, well, you guys might like to see something. So I picked out a nice stamp set from stamp, uh, Simon Says Stamp, I should say, and some different inks, etc. And I wanted to cut out some different hearts. Now you could do that using a punch, you could do that using your Cricut as I am, or a silhouette, or a die if you've got them. It doesn't matter how, you know, whatever you've got, it's just, um, they can be the same size. I've done different sizes. What I will do is I will put this folder for the Cricut for you guys up on my uh, website so you can download it if you can't be bothered to fiddle around making the hearts yourself so I'll have those all ready for you um, so you can just download that file if necessary so as you can see I picked out four colors this is my favorite cardstock for die cutting particularly on the Cricut this is American Crafts and I just picked out four different pinks and reds just to make these hearts and I've left them on the Cricut sheet for now because we're not going to be doing anything with them yet so the next thing I've got is uh, this is a new set of cards bases for me from Anna Griffin these are the slimline ones and I thought it'd be really fun to I thought it was a really fun shape and I understand it's the really new in shape um so I thought it'd be fun to use that now what I wanted to do with this card is actually stamp directly onto the card front so I'm picking out some bits. It, you saw the two different stamp sets that I'm using from Simon Says Stamp. And I picked out this lovely heart border to start with. And then it occurred to me that it would be a lot easier to do this if I unfolded the card base because it's sort of flatter. So I just redid that. And then I've positioned this lovely border at the top of my card because what we're going to do is we're going to create the sentiment at the top. But I just thought it would be nice to have something there that just brings in those hearts you saw that that little border just flaps slightly so I just uh, straighten that later and as I do the inks you'll see which ones I'm using so this is actually a hero arts one they're very similar to the stamp uh, I keep saying stamping up Simon says stamp um, but they're just a really nice ink as well but it's just whatever you've got really just pick out a nice selection of pinks to peachy pinks to even like a reddy color so I've gone here for the more reddy pink and then we've got the word sending and then it's a bit hard to to see but it actually says sending you valentine day hugs or valentine's day hugs so we're going to do just the sending first because um it, you initially i started to put the second part down but it was just not getting quite close enough because when you have a stamp there is like a little edge to it that's obviously bigger than the part that you're stamping so if you're putting the two together if and if you're trying to put them close it, it sort of gets in its own way so I decided to do it separately now for this one I don't particularly show it but I did actually stamp it a couple of times just to get a little bit of depth of color um, because the color on the cream just didn't quite pop as, as much as I liked so I just did it twice just to get that color but that's the beauty of course of a stamp platform but if you don't have that then just you know maybe make sure you do it better than I did the first time <laughs> Um, and then I'm doing the same colour again for the second part of the sentiment and again um, for this one I think it went fine the first time I think I probably just didn't stamp it hard enough you know push it down hard enough the first time so then I had a second set of these um, em uh, cards and envelopes from Anna Griffin and these were just regular A5 so I took one half of it and I sort of cut it in half so that the colour of the paper or the cardstock was the same and then I stamped out a selection of these little envelopes now I've got more here than I want because I wasn't quite sure what colours I wanted and how I sort of how they sort of fit in colour wise so I just did a little selection there and then literally just go around with your scissors 
making sure that you cut just outside that line as you can see it's not perfectly straight but it doesn't matter the top was a little bit you know so what and then I took the three little envelopes and I positioned them on the actual card front where I wanted them to be and then I took the palest of my pinky inks that I was using and I inked it up and I stamped it now the reason for this is because I'm going to be doing putting the hearts down and I'm going to be stamping other bits and I needed to know where those envelopes are going to be but I don't want to stick the actual envelopes down because they will be in the way when I'm doing stamping and sticking stuff down so it was much easier to do that but also when you kind of look from the side anyway you'll see the the line of that underneath because it's in the same color it's not going to be a big deal so I put a couple of the little hearts down that were part of the stamp set and just positioned them and the idea of this is that it's sort of each envelope is spewing out not sure that sounds quite as nice but anyway sort of throwing out like confetti these different hearts so in order to give that dimension I'm starting off with a stamped layer with different colors so that adds also dimension and depth to it but then obviously afterwards I'm going to add in the die cut ones that we did as well but it just gives that slight depth we're not going to be popping up the hearts but we are going to be just sticking them down flat but again even with that being flat and you could if you, you have got the patience which I really just was like I so have not got the patience to do you could easily stick them down using some with a little bit of foam if you wanted to or even a bit of gel glue if you had it so all I did here was I positioned them so you can see they're all positioned so it looks like they're flowing out of each envelope I was very careful to not just sort of kind of lob them anywhere on the on the card and to try and make it look like they were coming out of the envelope to mix up the colors to mix up the sizes if you didn't have different sizes that's not a big deal just do it as you can and also if you have the stamp set you can use that for sizing as well so you could do it like that and then all I've done is I've taken a glue pen uh, so some wet glue if you haven't got one of those glue pen just put a little bit of glue on a piece of paper and just dob it on and just stuck each one down it's time consuming but it's not difficult and then once it's dry I just put a piece of um, kitchen towel tissue over it and gently rubbed it just to any excess glue um, just to absorb that up and then obviously as you saw I just used my bone folder there to just make that nice and strong crease and then finally I thought just again to add a bit more dimension I had these heart um, sort of almost like sequins sort of very shimmery so I thought again that adds dimension because it adds movement to the card you can see there as it's catching the light it just really adds a nice effect to the card so finally now we're getting to the little envelopes and you can see from putting all those hearts on why I didn't want to add the envelopes beforehand but why I also needed the position now I'm actually putting the foam on before I put all the little hearts on but um, it just didn't make sense when I was doing the video so we switched it around a little bit but that's the beauty of editing to make it make more sense to you guys so I put the foam on the back of it and um, then I thought well this one I felt like it just needed that little bit of something extra when I positioned them they were all the envelopes were the same level and the foam isn't super thick so I did use quite a thin foam so it might be if you're using a thick foam you might want to do this but I decided that this one envelope just needed to be slightly um, higher now what you could do is leave that third small envelope just completely flat if you wanted to to even add more dimension um, and you'll also notice that when you especially now when I put the um, envelopes on top that I actually had a heart on pretty much all of them that was kind of partially underneath the envelope so it really did look like it was coming out of that envelope now as you know normally I would always put a wet glue on the back of my foam and I don't know why I didn't today um, I think for such a small area it's not going to be a big deal with um, it coming off too much but it would have probably been easier for positioning you saw I was fiddling to make sure it lined up with the stamped envelope underneath so you might want to put just a little bit of wet glue on the back like I would normally do so then I thought well as always 
you know I like to do something on the inside and I just felt it definitely needed something this time it was really kind of decorated on the front and so I took this beautiful piece of red vellum I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous and you saw I just marked it with a pencil and cut it to size and then all I'm going to do once it's cut down is take my tape pen here and just pop a line of it across the top now by doing it just across the top two things happen one again you've got some movement on the inside because it's sort of loose um, so it's like a, a flappy insert <laughs> rather than a completely stuck down piece of card or paper if you want it completely stuck down I would recommend that you don't use vellum because you will see that um, tape when it's just at the top there it's not really noticeable but I like that effect where it's just loose on the on the inside like that I think it looks really effective it just kind of looks quite elegant I think and then that is it finished and I think it just looks really cool I love the way that it moves with those lovely shiny hearts you've got the little bit of dimension but it's still just um of height that you can get it through in normal posts so it's not so high that it's going to cost you extra to send it and it's just I think a really fun card I think it's quite uh, a, an idea that's used quite a lot about the hearts coming down in, and gathering like that um, but I just thought that it would be fun to do it with the envelopes and uh, in a slightly different way using the die cuts etc mixed with the stamps and the sequins so I hope you've enjoyed this card and I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and New Year it feels kind of weird saying that at the end of January but um, I hope you all had a great time and um, as I say I hope you enjoyed this card do please give it a thumbs up and all of that and if you haven't subscribed do do that as well I'd love for you to join our little crafting family on here and also don't forget and if you don't know there's a link below this video that takes you to the blog post that goes with this video so on that blog post you will find lots of photos of the card it will also have links to the products that I've used I'll also put a link to the die cut for the Cricut if you need it um, for that file as well so I hope you've enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you again soon thanks for watching bye for now bye